hey loves welcome back again to my class so in today's video we're going to look at how to use these pale beads to make this beautiful bag you see and so i'm using a pack of this and also i have my pack of pale beads and then we'll need a pair of scissors for this project and also yeah basically our fishing line So we need a fishing line 0.7. I'm using 0.7 because these balls has like very tiny holes. So you can use 0.6 for this project. 0.6 or 0.7 for this project. So that is what we are going to use for this bead bag. Okay, so let me just begin right away. So you can get your bow and then you just put... And the pills I'm using, this is size, um, this is um, eight millimeter pill, okay. And then this one, I'm not sure of the size, but I think it's twelve millimeter. But I'm not sure of the size yet. Yeah, so that is what I'm going to use for this project, particularly. This is also beginner friendly, intermediate too. This is how I'm going to start this bead. So I am going in first with this one, um, the big one, and then two pills, one here, and then one here. And then I'm going to cross it with the big one again. Okay. Then the next one, we have another pill, one pill. And then one pill. And then one of the big ones to cross it. So we're going to have the big ones in the middle of this bag. So we have something like this. Now we have this one again. Then we have pills again. And then one in the middle. Then we cross it. So from here I have one, two, three. So I'm going to make eight of this, but I'm going to make seven. And then on the eighth one, we make a 10 from there. So let me just continue the rest and then I'll come back to show you the next move. So um, I have made seven and on the eighth one, I'm going to make a 10. The pearls are my guide. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're going to make the 10 on the eighth one. And then we're gonna go in with pearls. And then, of course, this. And then pearls again. So three. So now we have something like this. So from here, we have something like this, big, small, and then big. After the first three turn, this is the second turn that we are going to this direction. So we have something like this. So we will have something like this. And therefore, we go through this. So 
So we have pills on this. Then we cross this one. Then we move on to the next bead. Then we have another pale bead and then another big bead. Then we cross it to the next step. I got Uncle Gush onto this one. Pill, big bead. So from here, you continue to the end and then we make another turn from here. So, um, this is how far I have come and then we are going to make a turn from here. So, so we have this and then this, then we cross this one. So on to the next step, we have big, small, and then big, and then we're going to cross this one. And then straight onto this bead. Then we have this. And then we cross it with a big one. And then we have this again and then the big one so this is how you are going to continue this process so please go all of our to the end and then i'll make another 10 and then we continue from there too so we are going to make the last thing another thing in here again so okay so this is our third row so our fourth row we are going to still continue with the same procedure so we start with the big bead and the small one and then big bead again and then we cross it from here again
So we have small and then big. And then I'm gonna place it here. So I'm going to continue and I'm going to weave um so we are going to weave 16 of this set and so we are on the fourth row so we are going to do that and then we we'll continue from there to the next step okay so guys we're going to continue with the um side and side of the back so I'm going to go through this bead So I'm weaving in between these bells, okay? These bells here. So I go in with one of the big, one pearl, and then one of the big to cross. Oh. One big to cross. Then after this, we're going to go through the next bead. Okay, so the next step, then we pick one of this and then one of this, then we cross it. Then we go to the next Pale bead. Then one, one, then we cross. So I'm going to do that. We are making it up to the seed bead here. So this one, and then um, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, six, two, four, six. So the three here will be the base. Two, four, six, two, four, six this will be the base so um i'm going to continue from that side and then from this side to this side the seed one here and then we weave the main back base okay so guys we are about to weave the side of this bag and so this is how we go about it um we have let me count both sides for you to see. We have one, two, three, 
four, five, six. Okay, so we have these three bees being the odd one out. This is where I'm going to weave my side, but then again, um, we are going to start from where the sixth one start from. So we go through this. And then we go through this too. So we are going through from the sixth one, this one, one, two. Okay, we went through both these. And then I've tried to pull my fish line for it to be the same. So now that we have gone through the seed bead and the seventh bead from here, then we're going to put our, our beads on. So I pick one of these big beads. And then one pills. Then I cross it. We are weaving to this direction. And then I'm going to go through this bead. This is the next bead. So you just have to go through that. The next one to we pick that same big bead. And then one pair. To cross. Then when we count from here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So with this one, after the second one, we're going to go through the next two beads. Just like how we did for the beginning. Okay, so after making this, then we pick just only one of this. It's in two bees now, so we cross it. Then we'll have something like this. Now this one, we'll also go through the next bead. This is the next bead. So it will go through this one. We pick one of this big bead and then one pill and then we cross. And then we move on to this particular bead. So just go through that bead. Then another one, big bead. Then one pill to cross. Then go through this next bead. Then we make we pick one of the big one. We are closing the side too. Then we cross it. Then we go through this bead. Okay. So we're gonna go through this bead. So after we're done with this one and then we fix it into this one we go through this next 
pale bead here okay so we just go through that then we fix one of the big pearl beads and then we cross that one too okay and you can see it's forming and then we go through this bead So we are beginning a different row or oh, let me say line and then we start again with this and also one pearl bead to cross and I'm gonna go through this bead Then another big, small. And the next one, we go through this again. We pick this one and then we cross it. Now you can see it's forming gradually. Let me move on to the next bead. So you are going to repeat the same step. Pick this one, then we pick this one, then we pick one of this. Then we go through this. Then we have one. Then two of this. Then we go through this bead. This and then this. So we pick one and then we cross again. Then we move on to the next bead. Okay, then we have this big pail. And also this. Then we cross it. Okay.
then this one too will enter this particular bead then we pick one to this then one to this And go through this so basically this is the last part we are doing and now we go through this one last bead then we pick just one to cross so we are done with one side of this and then from here i'm going to interlock the bag so just go through as many beads as you can from here So I'm just going through some of the bees and we are going to repeat the same step at the other side of the back okay there's nothing different so just go through as many bees as you can okay so we are coming to do the other side I'm going to show you how you can start and then that will be all so when I count from here, I have one two three four five six so we're going to put the fish line in these two bees, the sixth one and the seventh one. You can either start from this side or you can count from this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And so just like how we repeated this one, I'm not going to draw much on this side because it's just the same thing. So as I put your fish line in those two pairs. Then we start with this big pill and then the small one. Then cross it. Then I'm gonna go through this bead. Go again with this and then one pill, then cross. But this time around, we're gonna go through one two bead because this is the seventh one counted from here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna go through the seventh and the seed bead. Just one bead to cross. Then 
then we're gonna use this fish line from here and then we go through this bead so now we are coming to this direction and we also begin again with one big bead and cross it with one pale bead on this on this my right fish line then we go through this bead automatically you can see this one coming back once you start doing this particular side then we pick another big bead and then one pair Okay, so after we get here, the this fish line, we're gonna go through this next bead here. Just one of the big one, then we cross. So now we are done with the second one. Okay, so you can see it's coming together. Then afterwards, we go into this particular bead and then start the next line. So you just have to repeat the same steps that we did. Big and small. Then we cross it. And go through this one so I'm going to use the same step again so I complete the whole bag and then we move on to the handle part of this bag So I'm completing it and then I'll show you the next step, the handle part of this bag. So now we are done with the side of the bag and you can see how beautiful it is like at this moment. So we're going to do the handle part. We have two meters, some people do it attached to the swans, but then I want to go in with the other meter. That is by weaving the handle and then attaching it to this. I feel like that is like really simple to make so i have cut a different fish line for that a very long one as at that and so um i'll just go in with one pearl bead one of the big one on my right another big one on my left and then a pale bead to cross then 
Then we have something like this. Then I start again with one big bead and then another one and then pale beads. Then I cross it. So we'll have something like this. Then for the next one, we are starting with the pale bees. So we have one here, one here, and then one to cross. Depending on how lengthy you want your handle, that is what you're going to use for the back. So, I'll do something like this. Another pearl bead here. One here again. And then we cross this one. To continue the process, I want to make 12 of this, so I have two now, so 10 more to go. Let me finish with that and then we move on to the next thing. So now I have this one to be 12, so I'm going to repeat what I did here, the same as here. So I pick one of this and then one and then we cross over the pails. And then we do again the same thing. So one here. But this time around we are going to make a 10. Okay. This time around we are going to make a 10. So either go left or right. So we have one of this, one, one pill, and then one of this two. And then the next one would have one of the pills, one big, and then a pill again, then we cross it. Then one big. Then I pill to cross. Then we continue with R22 from here. Don't be confused, it's just the same pattern. So I'm going to continue till I end here and then we make the next step. So I'm about to end then. All I do is just to continue with the pills and then this one. So the big one and pills, 
stickers. This and this. So at the end of the day, we have something like this. So after we've made this, since I have some of the fish line remaining, I don't have to cut it different. I can just use it to continue to close this side. So basically, I go through this bead. Okay, now the fish line is in two of these knees. Now we're going to pick the next step is we are closing all the gaps here. So we just pick one bead and then we close. And it's going to be pearls throughout from here. Then we go through this bead again. Okay, then we're gonna go through this we are weaving to the side by side so don't be confused Okay, now this and this. So, all right, just this and then this. Then we have this. Okay. So this is the routine I'm going to use till I finish the whole handle. Just pick one. Just use only the pills. So you just pick one of the pills and then you look it, you cross it. So I'm just going to finish the rest. So guys, um, I'm done with the handle, one of it. So you just have to repeat the same step twice. I have to like redo this again for the other side of the handle. So I, this is the first one I made and then I'm going to join it to this bead, okay. So this is the bead we are going to join the handles to, these two beads. So from here, that's the second bead from here, that's the second bead. Now, what I do from here, this is what I got at the end of the day. And what I do from here is I'll pick one of this big bead. And then go through this. Then another bead, then I'll cross this one. So we have to have something like this. 
but then this particular fish line will go through this bead so you should have something like this okay then i'll try and make it thin So from here, we add two pale bees. So we add two pale bees. Then we go through this one. It's just the same method that I did for joining the other side. And then we pick another one, then we cross it. Okay. And then this particular fish line will go through one of the bees the pale beads here then we pick two of the pale beads it's just the same step that we are repeating so we pick two of the pale beads and then we cross it then this particular fish line will go through the next pale bead and also this particular bead okay so now is in And then we go through the next bell bead and also this one so now the fishing line is in one two bead then we pick another pale bead then we cross it. Then from here, we interlock it. Okay, so this is how you go about joining the handle. So I'm just going to go through as many beads as I can. Then I will lock. Then basically, I'll be done with one side of the handle. And I'm going to repeat the same method I have used for this. For the other side so nothing changes this is how you are just going to join the two together and so just go through as many beads as i can so you can see this is how it's looking like and then you can just be creating knot towards interlocking so that it will make your bead work firm so this is how I create my knots. I go under one of the fishing line. I turn my fishing line like this, and then this will come under. Then I try my best to make it really tight. Then afterwards, you can just go through as many beads as you want. Hi lovers, so we are going to sew the drawstring bag for all our bags. This is mostly for most of the bags that doesn't need like you to line in. 
So I have different types of write down setting because I'm going to use all of this for a project just that the same procedure I'm going to use for what I'm going to show you is the same procedure I'm going to use for most of my bags tutorial. So I have the bright out satin here in different colors. This is white and this is what I'm going to show you um, the tutorial with. So I have blue here and I have red. We have different colors. So depending on the bag you are creating or you are going to make, that is the, the color you choose for, okay? And then I have my measuring tape, my tape measure here, my pins, my pair of scissors for my cotton. So this is what I need and I also need a pen or a chalk, but I don't have a chalk so I'll be using a pen to mark mine so that you all can see what I did. So let me just put this down here. Okay so guys, from what I'm doing, I'm measuring um, 15, I'm using the inches side, not the centimeter side. I'm using the inches part and I'm going to measure 15 centimeter. So this is my end to end this is where my 15 centimeter ends and then i'm gonna mark it okay and uh, then um the width i'm going in with um 10 inches okay i'm going with 10 inches so you can see this is my 10 inches so my table is quite small, so I have to manage this. Okay, so guys, I have cut my sateen, and then for the width, I have 11 inches, and then for the length, the full length is 15 inches. Okay, so um, if you are making it a bit smaller, you can go in with nine inches against 13 inches okay but then if you want to make it i'm making it for a bigger size that is why i made 15 against 11 inches and so we are going to fold three inches out of this okay so from here i'm going to mark three inches and we are going to fold so where i am marking the three inches If I'm making it small, like a mark two and a half inch, okay. And then I need my pins to secure it so I could fold it properly. And so I'm going to fold the three inches that I marked. And I'll use a pressing iron, okay, to get the line. So I'm just using my pressing iron just to get the line, okay. So I'm repeating the same step at the other side. So at the end of the day, we have actually ironed our, we have actually ironed this place neatly. So I'm going to sew three quarter inch from here, okay? I'm going to sew from here, the side, downwards, and then curve it three quarter, three quarter inch from here to here too, the same thing. Three quarter inch from here to here, the same thing. So, so here is my three quarter inch. So from here, 
I'm going to sew. So I'm just marking it so that you will see this one. This is half inch, so this one three quarter inch. Okay, and I'm going to do that from where I folded and then I ended. Okay, so this side. So I'm going to do that from. I mean this point. This is where I'm going to start my sewing from. So this point to this point. And then from here to I'll mark the three quarter inch just to be sure. So guys, I have sewed from this point to this point. In fact, I sewed from this side all around to this, to this, and to the end here. So after you've done that, the next thing is to open up where we sew. And then we are going to iron it for it to be flat okay so i'll just open up and then iron it and also iron this part It's the same step. Now to make your white knitter, if you have a knitting machine, you can just knit all over, okay? But I don't have it, so I'm just making use of what I have here. And if you don't have sewing machine to sew, you can just do hand stitches. Okay, you can also do normal hand stitches if you don't have sewing machine. Okay, so after we have done, we are going to sew. And I'm also going to repeat the same step here, fold it and then just secure that part with the pin. So guys, I have marked, okay, so after I have secured it with pins from both sides, just to make it stable. Now the next option is, as I said, you can just put, you can just use your knitting machine to knit this place so that it will be very neat. But from here to here, I marked half an inch. Okay, so like from here to here, I marked half an inch, which I'm going to sew singly, not with this one. So I'm going to sew this one from this point to this point where I have marked, and I also also sew from here to here. So. You can see I have, I, I marked half an inch from here to here. I did it for the whole, so that's why I have marked this. I'm just going to put my machine here and sew this. Whilst this is folded like this, okay? So I'm going to sew that. And then you measure, to put in your your ribbon, because you use ribbon for this. Um, I measure the ribbon. The ribbon is, mine ribbon is 0.5. So I could measure 0 0.75 or one inch, depending on how, the size of the ribbon you are going to use. Okay, so for mine, um, 0 0.75 is enough. So I'm going to mark that side also. Okay, so I'll just be marking 0 0.75. Just be marking it till the end. So you're going to repeat the same thing I'm doing on your own. If you just want to remember what you're doing, just mark it so that you would remember the point. So I'm done marking and I'm going to sew from the end to the end. The same thing for the 0 0.5 from here to the end. On one, then I'll repeat the same step on the other side too. Okay. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you the next step. 
Okay, so guys, I saw the half part three, and I've also done it for the second one, as you can see. And so I'm going to trim all the excess. Um, I'm going to trim it all. As I said earlier, again, if you have a knitting machine, you can just use that so that you can have a neat work, okay? And then I'm going to do this for the side. Okay, so now that we are done, um, the next step is to turn it in. Okay, we have to turn. This is what we have and then from here we are going to also fix in our we are going to fix in our um, ribbon okay I forgot to mention that we will need ribbon so we are going to fix in our ribbon so I'm gonna cut the ribbon it depends on the length and how wide you want you did for your work I have a safety pin here which I'm going to use okay so okay so where we actually see the the hole I mean in between the quarter inch and also the three quarter inch that is where we are going to fix our ribbon okay so i'm just gonna go through so now i have fixed both of these um ribbons into my my hole and then this is what i have now Okay. so we have our beautiful ribbon now so now i'm going to just place it in my bag and that's all about this particular video okay so i hope you all enjoyed it also and i hope you're able to learn it and you'll be able to make it yourself okay see you in my next class bye